Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. If you've been working with this software for any length of time, then you're probably already familiar with something we call the Image Tool. And of course, it's this tool that allows you to place images onto the canvas of the website you're designing. As you can see, I've got a website here I'm working on with a lot of different images on it. I'm going to show you something new and different today. First, let me show you as a reminder what the Image Tool does. And there are videos, of course, about the Image Tool. But if I was going to use the Image Tool, I would just drag it, make a box, find some kind of an image, and click on it. And I've placed an image on the website. And then, of course, if I wanted to create a link for this image, I will double click on it and then go to the Link tab and create my link. But I want to show you something a little bit different today. It's similar to the Image Tool, but it adds a little bit more functionality. And it's right under the Image Tool, and it's called the Image Map Tool. It's very similar, but let me show you what happens. I'm going to click on Image Map, draw a box again, and I'm going to go find an image that I would use an image map for. And here's an example of one here. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to click on this, open. It's a much larger image. Let me move it up here so you can see what's happening. What the image map allows me to do when I double click on this image is it adds a tab in the image properties called Hotspots. What's a hotspot? A hotspot is an area or a region of the image that I want to be clickable. Rather than have people just click anywhere on the image and have it take them somewhere, I can designate a certain spot on the image itself that's clickable. It's called a hotspot. So in this case, I'm going to make a hotspot. Let me click out of here. And you can see, if I move this camera down a little bit so we can cover this image a little bit better, this image has this is all one image I made in Photoshop, but it has an area down here in the bottom of it that sort of looks like a button. What I'm going to do is make it so that when people click on this area of the image, it takes them somewhere. And rather than just click anywhere on the image, I want them to click on this part of it. So that's what the image map is going to allow me to do. So I double click, go to Hotspots, and I'm going to add a region. It's just some sort of a shape. I'll pick a, a rectangle here because that's simple. Now this just tells me where on my image the hotspot is going to show. Right now it's going to be in the left corner, zero pixels from the left, zero pixels down from the top. That's fine because I can move this easily, so I'm going to leave it like that. And let's make, uh, in fact we'll make a little square that's 50 by 50 pixels so we can see it. I'm going to click OK, click OK again, and you can see my image now has this little square in it. Okay, Move it down here so you can see it a little bit better. So this square is movable, but it's only movable inside my image. I can't move it outside of the image. It only applies to the image. And this region is called the hotspot. I can make this part be a link. So let's move stuff around so it's a little easier to work with. I'm going to actually move this down to the bottom of my image because I want this part of the image to be clickable and just this part. So I'm going to stretch that. And now I've created a hotspot within the image. Only this part is clickable. So let's double click on the image again and go set that up. So now I've got a hotspot. Here it is. The hotspot that I created is a rectangle. And you'll notice if I click edit, some things have changed. And the reason why these have changed is because I moved it. It's no longer at 0, 0. I moved it down in the image. In fact, I happened to move it 199 pixels over from the left and 586 pixels from the top, and the software recorded all that for me. I don't really need to know that. It just tells me where it is on the image. And you can see that I stretched it, and so I stretched it 197 pixels wide so it would fit over my little button, and it's still 50 pixels high. That's where my hotspot lives inside the image. All I have to do now is decide where I want this hotspot to link, and that's right here. So I can link to an external website, or in my case, I want to link to a page in this project, so I just select that page. I want it to link to this page, click OK, and I'm done setting up the hotspot. So I click OK, and we can close out of the image properties. And now here's my image with the hotspot with a clickable area in it. So let's give it a little shot here. I'm going to go F5 so we can see what that's going to look like in a browser. I'll scroll down here so you can see it. So here's the image on the page. And watch what happens to my mouse cursor. When I hover over this part of the image, you can see the cursor changes. And that's because this is now a link to a page, just this part of the image. 
So that's what an image map does. In a nutshell, it allows you to decide what part of your image you want clickable. There's one other thing you can do though with the image map. You don't have to just have one area of your image clickable. You could have multiple areas of an image clickable. And I've done that on another page, so let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to close this page and open up one I've already created here called Plans. Now here I've got an image that's really large. This whole thing right here is an image I made in Photoshop. All of this is just one giant image, right? But I want three different links on this image. So what I did, I'll double click on it, go to Hotspots. You can see I created three different hotspot areas because you can create as many as you want. So here's the first one. And this actually is down here on the image, you can see. Here's my other one down here. And then here's my third one, which is this part of the image. And if I were to click Edit, you can see that I've created links for each one of these hotspots. Go like this and click Edit. And then this one links to the Pro page. So very, very simple to do. And you can have multiple hotspots on one image or just one hotspot. And you can change the shape or the size of those hotspots. So that's basically how the image map tool works. Very similar to the image tool, but allows you to choose a part of your image that you want to make clickable called a hotspot. So hopefully that tool will help add another layer of functionality to the website you're designing with 90 Second Website Builder.